Hey, good morning, everyone. It's awesome to have this guy right beside me, Neil pa uh, Pasarica. Um, I'll tell you, you have such, had such a great career, number one. Um, you start off with a blog. You know, everybody yeah. knows this book of awesome, New York Times bestseller. Uh, and now you're coming out with a brand new book because not only you want to continue to be awesome, <laughs> but you're now a dad, too. That's right. You know, since last time I was on BT, Frank, you know, I, I got married, um, we had a child, and he sees the world in an even more simpler way than I do. You know, yesterday he wanted to go run outside in the rain, and he couldn't understand why I didn't want to, so we ended up going out and doing it. And um, the whole point behind Awesome is Everywhere, the new kid's book, is to sort of give everybody that feeling of being a kid again. Mm -hmm. And through the book itself, it's a story. Yeah. There's, the, the imagery is just unbelievable. Ah. Uh, thanks for saying that. You know, it was a two-year process trying to put this together. We um, we wanted something that was uh, interactive. So, you know, you tap on the book and you zoom into the earth. You blow on the waves and they get bigger. But you can't just take pictures to do that. Mm -hmm. So we ended up hiring uh, a Toronto-based Discovery Channel animation studio. It stitched together thousands of images from NASA, scientists, people taking pictures of crabs in Cuba, and put it all together into the first ever photorealistic interactive book in the world. And so they spent a couple years doing all that work, but the result, hopefully, is something that actually sends your mind to another place and another time. And you actually end up having a five-minute meditation break uh, in the middle of your busy day. So this not, is not only for kids, then. This, this sounds like this could go, <laughs> almost anybody could take this book and maybe have, get in their happy place. Well, it's funny you say that, because I think on the back it says, like, age two to six, you know, and you right. start reading it to two to six-year-olds, but, but you are, you know, I'm 36, and I read it. I'm sent somewhere else too and it keeps, we tried to make the book really big so that you actually are zooming into the water and you flip the book over your head, you flip underwater with it mm -hmm. and, uh, but yeah, at the very end it says, what's the most awesome place of all? And the last page is just a mirror and it's, it's, it says here. And the idea is that wherever we are right now, especially here in Toronto and Canada, you know, you're lucky. Mm -hmm. We've got so much to be thankful for and it's a reminder that you can send your mind anywhere in the world Awesome really is everywhere, but at the end of the day, we have a lot to be thankful for, too. 100%. I know your TED Talk that you did that had over 2 million views. Yeah. You talked about that right at the beginning, to be thankful and where your parents came from. This whole blog, this whole world of awesome for you came from kind of a dark place. I, I mean, it did. It was a few years ago now, now, but I had, you know, I was in a marriage that was heading in the wrong direction, and uh, I had a really good friend that was, uh, had severe mental illness. And so I started writing one awesome thing a day on a thousand awesome things.com. Eventually, it got big, and mm. it turned into the Book of Awesome, the Book of Even More Awesome, and it kept going, kept rolling. But you know what, Frank? It's been four years since I put, up, put yeah. out a book. I've been putting my feet up, I guess. You know, yeah. I haven't really had one. So with the kids' book, it's like, how do we look at the theme of awesome, those three A's from the TED Talk, mm -hmm. but actually see it in a different light? And oftentimes, what I'm trying to do is remind myself, you know, of what's awesome in life. And if the Book of Awesome was the observation of simple pleasures, you know, popping bubble wrap and uh, waking up and realizing it's a Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is the experience of awesome. You actually go on a, you know, mental and visual journey through the water and the waves and the clouds and realize that, hey, life is pretty good after all. You got some help from your wife, too, because she's a teacher, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah. she's a TDSB um, elementary school teacher down at Market Lane, um, and she wrote the teaching guide that goes with Awesome is Everywhere. So. We're really lucky that, you know, the book's been made Heather's Pick, and it's, it's kind of in bookstores everywhere. It's kind of, yesterday it just came out, so it's like yeah. already kind of getting big. But if anyone's a teacher on uh, watching the show, just type in Awesome is Everywhere Teaching Guide, and you can download a whole bunch of exercises for free that you can use in the classroom. We'd love to kind of share it with the world that way. Awesome is everywhere. Uh, that's the name of the book. This guy right beside me is awesome. Neil, thanks for coming uh, on. Thank you so much for having me on the show. And have an awesome day. I absolutely will. You too. <laughs> okay. Being here with this guy, awesome. BT, awesome right after the break.